Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Mosley Farm, where I have been chasing the cows out of my little tomato patch this morning. I looked out my window, and what did I see? I saw cows trying to eat my tomatoes. In fact, there's that devious little little bovine again. Come here, lovely. We're actually going to be moving the cows into our horse field. I'm very excited. We have a beautiful new horse field. It's just looking absolutely lovely and I can't wait we're gonna move all of our horses in there and sunflower aster seed how are you doing <gasps> there's eggs eggs chicken eggs yes and feathers yay okay let's come around gather these up thank you chickens let's see if we have any chick chicks oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry aster seed I did not mean to smack you with that oh my gosh let me get you a geishel green I am so sorry about that hang on a second my goodness, I did not know that would happen. Okay, let me go ahead. Here, do you need do you need a geishel green? Do you need it? Do you need it to feel better? Do you want to eat it? Are you are you ignoring me now? He's totally ignoring me now. Where's my Chocopedia? <laughs> I need to check if he's okay. I can't believe I just smacked him in the face with a chicken egg. Um, are you feeling okay? Yeah, he's fine. I think he was just fussing at me about it. Like, excuse you, throwing eggs in my face. I mean, I guess that's a big insult when you're a giant bird, too. I didn't even think about that. If someone throws an egg in your face and you're, you are a bird, that must be a huge insult. But it is so exciting to welcome you all back to my beautiful farm. And actually, like, I'm looking at this teensy tomato patch, and it's kind of embarrassing. But I remember when we planted it out here, just so we could, we could have a start to planting tomatoes. That was a long time ago. We should probably do something with these tomatoes. And we should probably make a proper vegetable garden and not just this like very sad looking little whatever this is. But we will work on that later because today we are gonna go get our awesome horses. We're gonna move our horses into the horse fields properly. And that's gonna be very exciting. How's the puppies? You guys are doing okay. You guys can come with me. We'll go get the horses and then we'll have lunch, okay? How's that sound, my pup pups? All right, let's put these apples away for now. And let me finish gathering up the roaming bovines from my yard. All right. Are you guys inside or outside my fencing? Okay, you're under the fencing. That is, that's actually a whole different angle I didn't even think about, Miss Cow. There you guys go. And I'm going to go ahead, catch this zebra. I actually think... To my surprise that the zebra are spawning here. So my attempts to remove the zebra population from horse meadows may be met with failure simply because it appears the zebra belong here. So hmm, we'll have to see how that goes. Here is a second brown, Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, that startled me. <laughs> I was just a cobra. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That actually legitimately startled me. I'm over like, yay, brown horse, and then cobra in my face. Okay, well, we survived that encounter. I'm just going to let them hang out together over there for a while and go get my other horses, <laughs> but... <sighs> Well then, and our little field is doing great, and thank you guys. I knew that you could only go about four to five blocks away from a water tile before it dries up. I was just hoping that we could kind of keep it going, but it looks like we're going to have to figure out some other way to make a cute little cute little spot. Um, kind of like we did with Potato Nose, where we can have another water spot. I'm not sure what I want to do, though. Maybe just put a well down, like in the middle of my field, like right there. It kind of sucks because we're so close to having a full field and then we don't. But we'll work on that in a little bit. Let's get Lily Tate and Pine so they can defend me. I'm only wearing cow leather boots. I'm totally exposed if they want to come over. I still need to make a new farmer skin. I think that'd be fun. But let's get Lily Tate and Pine and let us go get our horses. So we are going to go get... Um, in fact, we might just ride our horses over. That would be kind of fun. We're going to go get like our horses that we used to breed up our quagga, Eva's Purple Ball and Aurora. And we're going to go get our Pepper, Pepper who we bred. And actually you guys came up with an amazing name for Pepper's mate and it's Salt. And I will take it even though it's not an heirloom plant name. I will, I will take Salt as a name. Alright, and this is actually letting us look and see where we need to extend our pathway. Because we want it to meet up with this farmhouse. 
And you guys are coming up with so many awesome names. I love it. All right, so the pepper we are going to take over is actually going to be over here. All right, I wonder if we should just ride them over. Put saddles on. Hello, everyone. <gasps> Cascabella, pepper, jigsaw, and salt. So this is going to be salt. We will name it in just a little bit. Uh, I think I have an anvil somewhere. If not, every farm needs an anvil. But what are we going to start with? Let's start with uh, salt, actually. Oh, man, I forgot how fast salt is. Go, salt, go! Do 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 Tate, why are you sniffing the walnut tree? Oh, this is actually really fun. <laughs> we could just ride our horse like back and forth into town. And someone told me there's a special mod. All right, let's see. Path inside is right there. One second, salt. I'm gonna open this up. Jump on your back. And there we go. So now salt is officially inside. Let's see. Can I can I check your inventory? I can. I'm going to borrow this saddle, my friend, because I need to bring the others over too. Plus, you shouldn't leave a horse's tack and saddle on them all the time. That's not healthy. All right. Let's keep going. We're going to bring the other horses over. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Oh, I already, I already ate. Ugh. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have anything in here? I have some apples. I'm going to nom on some apples. And then Tate is over here, uh, but I don't see Pine and Lily, so they must still be with the other horses. But this is fun. This is nice knowing that we can move all of our horses into our horse fields so that they're not so spread around anymore. But look at this. Like, it's amazing what putting a proper pathway down actually does. And to decorate it like this, I love it. We should make, like, little, uh, little lanterns, too, to light this place up at night and just we're gonna turn this into a proper farming village I am excited so excited all right so let's see maybe we'll put the other horses inside of the nets to make this go a little bit faster so let's pop over here oh dear I left that open that's probably not the best of choices and Jigsaw I'm actually gonna ride you over my friend so Jigsaw has that on, and we're going to put Cascabella and Pepper inside of the pet amulets because we act cannot actually move them with the safari nets. They have to be moved through pet amulets. So let's go get our pet amulets onto the barn. I guess this really is just kind of like the community barn now. Do I have a chicken in here? <gasps> I have a chicken in here. Ooh, I have two chickens in here. Come with me, little chickens. You're going to go to my evolving chicken coop. All right, let's see got all of these to name future scarecrows got some of those here's my pet amulets I knew they were somewhere all right we've got three so Cascabella can wear one or be inside one and Pepper can be inside one and Eva's purple ball can be inside one Eva's purple ball it appears you are actually a mo creatures horse so I don't have to worry about moving you the way I thought I did yay we're only gonna take one of the Eva's purple balls and one of the Aurora's these are the two horses that we used as the mothers for oh hello bunny do you want to come inside I don't mind you can be in my barnyard there you go have a good time but uh, Eva's purple ball and Aurora were the two horses that we had who bred the quagga babies for us all right, now Pepper, you are a Mo Creatures horse. So you have to go in here. And Cascabella, you're also a Mo Creatures horse. Have to go in here. Jigsaw, we're going to get on your back. So there's Pine. Jigsaw, you're a little bit slower than your dad. Okay, I'm really glad that I got the other two inside the pet amulets now because this is kind of a nice. Jigsaw, you're, you're like a little kid's pony. You're just a nice, relaxing pace. We're enjoying the slow. The slow progress and just the nice countryside. Are my dogs following me? I don't think they recognize. Oh, there you are, Pine. I was like, I don't think they recognize when I'm on a horse. All right. Riding off into the sunset. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful and slow. But we're here. And actually, Jigsaw, I've got to take you over because we're going to breed you, sir, to that lovely brown horse. So actually, I think I need to open up both of these. There we go. To be able to really get you in there. All right, all right. there you go, Jigsaw. Then I'm actually going to even put you inside 
inside here and possibly bonk my head when I get off. Ouch. Yes, I did bonk my head when I got off. But there you go, Jigsaw. Oh dear, I'm stuck on you again. Oh, that's right. I've got to... Ouch. I've got to use shears to get the normal shears, not steel shears, to get the armor off of him. Oh good, I do have normal shears. There we go. Now it's a crafted saddle. Awesome. And there you go, Jigsaw. So Jigsaw is now safely contained for the breeding. And then I'm going to come and go to bed. <laughs> and then I'm going to collect my dogs, too. All right, there's Pine. Come on, Pine. Come on, baby. Come on, you can come inside. Come on. Come on. Are you getting hungry for dinner? Come on. Pine is just not a dog who likes to go inside houses. I've noticed that lately. He really prefers to stay outside if he has the option. So that's, that's pretty awesome. All right, there we go. Snuggling in my nice little farm bed. I feel like I need a dresser or something. Like... Maybe a desk? Stuff upstairs. I need a dresser so that- and maybe a little mirror? How would I make a mirror pine? That would be really cool. We've got to find your aunt and your mom. They're somewhere. Or your dad, I mean. What? They're somewhere around here. Hmm. Alright. There you go, Pepper. And there you go, Cascabella. And... Now I actually need to tame you. Oh, that was easy. Okay, and Apple did it right away. Choose your pet's name. Okay, one second, because it's got to be like an heirloom fruit or vegetable. So I'm going to look at squashes, maybe. I didn't think this through. Summer squash, because I thought I had time to name her, but I do not. So we are going to name her... Uh, uh, oh, that's a pretty name. Oh, see, I'm actually looking up names of heirloom squashes because I love, I love heirloom seeds. They're just so cool. Um, um, let's do winter squash, not summer squash. Oh, okay, okay, now we're, we've got more to work with here. So we're going to name her, we're going to name her, uh, you know, Warted Hubbard Squash is not a very pretty name for a female horse. <laughs> so no, we're not going to name her Warted Hubbard Squash. Uh, let's name her... Let's name her Galax. Which hopefully... Galax. There we go. That's the name of an heirloom summer squash, no less, you guys. So the more you know, the more you know. So we've got her, so let's plunk her into the pet amulet. And then, haha, <laughs> I can get out because of what we did yesterday, putting the pathway down. Oh, that was smart. Good. Alright, I am... Well, at least I got pine. Before we bring the horses, I want to find my dogs. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind. Alright, we'll let them get to know each other. Galax and Jigsaw. And then let me come out here. And there's pine. So there's one dog. Lily! Tate! Food time! It's rabbit! It's rabbit and oatmeal and berries! Lily Tate! Lily Tate! Here, pup pups! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Lily Tate? I gotta be careful. Apparently they just don't teleport when you ride horses so I've got to really remember that Lily Tate and also someone said we should breed sheep dogs here and I totally agree Lily Tate no that's a bunny Lily Tate here puppies you're making mom a little worried Lily Tate Lily Tate Tate Lily there you two are <laughs> jeez you guys you had me so worried come on Come on. All right, actually, ooh, we're going to pick corn from this person's yard so we can plant corn in our own yard. All right, come on, you two. You had me so worried. You guys have no idea. Let's get back home. We've got a baby horse to breed. You coming? Okay, they're coming. Just slowly but surely. Ooh, let's, let's get this. We can plant some sunflowers. All right, there's Tate. Lily, good girl. We're going to, I'll feed you guys when we get home. Come on. Hello, Radish Claw. How you doing? Come on, pup pups. I'm going extra slow just for you, apparently. Tate, what are you doing? 
Tate, are you okay? I'm just gonna stick them in the safari nets and, and take them home and feed them. Tate, what are you doing? Huh. Lily! I'm just gonna stick you in the safari net too, Lily! Mom's about to have to eat raw corn because I'm so hungry and I can't find where I stuck all that giant stack of apples I was just chewing on. I'm just gonna eat this strawberry. Lily! How did I lose her already? Oh, fudge knuckles. We missed some ostrich. Uh... Okay, I need any more food. Lily, what are you doing? Okay, that's it. You guys, you guys have, have come with me. I know we're pretty relaxed when we're here in the farmland, but that doesn't mean you can just completely ignore, like, when I call for you or run off like that. You could run into a cobra, trust me. That happened to me this morning. Alright, run, run, run. Run, run, run. We're almost home. I'm, hmm. I might have to... Tate need like a checkup? Do I need to take him to a vet or something? I'm a little worried about him, to be completely honest. Huh. Well, we might have to ponder that. Lily, Tate, sit. Are you guys just a little hungry? Let me go get your food. They have me perplexed and slightly concerned. Alright, uh, let's just go for some raw pork chop this time. Alright, here you guys go. A little bit of food. Yeah, everyone's pretty much topped off. Okay. And then I'll put the food away. And then we'll, we will go and breed the horses. As soon as I find where I stuck that giant... Here's one pumpkin. And I think... Do we only have to feed one, one horse? One pumpkin? We might have to feed multiple pumpkins. We might need to start another pumpkin patch over here. Okay. Huh. I only have one pumpkin. Because apparently I have misplaced my other pumpkins. No! I know where my other pumpkins are. Right? No, never mind. <laughs> my other pumpkins were not in my fridge. Um Huh. Galax, how did you how did you get out? Hmm? Hmm? How did you do that? You need to stay over here with Jigsaw. Alright, put you there. And then let's just feed a pumpkin. I fed a pumpkin, and there are no hearts. Huh. Well, this breeding program is getting off to a slower start than I thought it would. Huh. Let's see, and I'm really truly out of pumpkins? I am really truly out of pumpkins. Well, fudge knuckles, that's not gonna help this, this program and this progress whatsoever. All right, come here, sunflower. Let's do a quick sweep. Do I see any pumpkins? Any pumpkins? Nymph, do you happen to have any pumpkins? No. All right, let's see. Maybe I left them over here? Did I leave them over here, Sunflower? Well, I'll check the barn, but if I don't have any in the barn, <laughs> we might have to go home and, and get more pumpkins. Ah, thank goodness. I was going to be so bummed out. All right, back to the horses. And then I will have to stay in the area, so I will just... Oh, there's a giant slime in the water. That's fine. That's fine. All right, and then sunflower, come along, darling. Good job. Astro seed is just kind of like, wow, she's so amazing. The way that she flies, it's so lovely. Sunflower, get down, get down, good girl. All right, so let's go feed the horses, and then I will stay in the area and see if we end up with a little foal or not, because that would be adorable. So, one for you, one for you. It was it was pumpkins, right? That I had to feed you. There's no hearts. Why are there no hearts? Okay. Uh, I'm going to back up. I'm going to just get out of the area. And we'll see if we end up with a baby horse or not. So, um... Huh. No hearts. Huh. I'm going to I'm gonna do a little bit of... Sunflower! <laughs> I'm going to get Sunflower back into the coop. And I'm going to do a little bit of research just to make sure I'm doing this right. Because I'm pretty sure I can breed this, this combo right here. They're a very handsome, handsome set. So, huh. I'll be right back, guys. Hmm. It's been a little while. It's been at least five minutes. And we don't have anything going on in here. I haven't really moved. It is now night, so I'm getting a little bit nervous. But you guys, it appears that perhaps these two horses are not really uh, 
Even though they're currently merged together, they're not into one another. So, no baby full from this matchup. I'm going to have to double check and make sure that, like, this matchup can happen. But I am 99% sure this can happen. And it should do a tier 4 horse jigsaw. Um, huh. Are there horses, like... We'll have to we'll have to solve this the mystery of why the horses are not having babies. So that's going to be something that we'll have to solve in the morning because it is now dark at night. I am slightly alarmed that I might be eaten any moment by some sort of monstrous creature, and we're going to possibly spend some time crafting in the kitchen tomorrow while we wait for the horses to have the babies. So hopefully that'll happen, and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. And I'm really thinking we might need to we might need to take Tate to a checkup, so that might be something we'll have to do soon. Hmm. Hmm. Why no babies? Hmm. Maybe we need to try cake, Lily. Maybe we need to try cake. Huh. All right. I will see you guys bright and early in the morning, and we will try to get to the bottom of why there's no babies from these horses. Also, I'm really nervous, so I'm gonna go inside because I have no protection. Uh, no protection from the monsters. Dun 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 dun. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's kind of frustrating. I really want I really want more cute little foals. Right, Sunflower? Right?